Hello and welcome to Chocolate Cover Games. My name is Tim and today we have an unboxing of Spill from Smirk and Dagger and Smirk and Laughter Games. Um, can you contain the oil and save sea life? Uh, this was a Kickstarter that I backed probably about half a year ago now or probably just about a year. It is a game designed by Andy Kim. And illustrations by Ooh. I'll just spell out the name because I won't be able to pronounce that. K W A N C H A I Last name M O R I Y A. Uh here's the side. It's one through four players, ages ten and up, about fifty minutes. The other side, the cooperative game. top and the bottom the same as the top here's the back um, comes with a oil rig a thing to catch your dice and then the board along with a bunch of dice boards cards comes with 64 dice and just in difficulties. Alright. One to four players. Which I think I said. Let's get into it. I've been looking forward to this game coming for a while now. Um, no art on the inside. This is like a reverse tower defense, I would say. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time, if you watch my top 100, is... Uh, what is it? Castle Panic. And this gave me a lot of that feel to the game. Where you're just dealing with waves after waves of problem. Here's the rule book. Nice, vibrant, large spelling, which is nice. Uh, as you know, my brother and I play a lot of smaller games, so most of the spelling is super tiny. But, you know, I can read it from here. I'm sitting good, maybe two and a half feet away with my eyes from the, the words, and I can still make it out, so it's very nice. Then we come to the top here. Team specialist, specialist. <clears throat> See who we got here. We have the environmental tech, sea captain, hazard specialist, marine biologist, meteorologist, marine vet. Questions officer and risk engineer. So I forgot to count how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Comes with nine different characters. Uh, here are the stickers to put on your oil rig. Then cardboard. One sheet of cardboard, two sheets of cardboard, you know, I didn't, I don't believe I ordered the ducks because I think the ducks came with uh, wooden animal pieces and whatnot. I definitely didn't get the uh, play mat, mainly because it said the board here, it's going to have spot UV here in the center where the oil spill is so if I move it around here you can see how it glistens from the board giving that oil uh, spill kind of look so I figured the board was nicer than the uh, actual game mat but there's the board always wish boards would be double side I mean you have a second side might as well just make a different board but 
That's me always being nitpicky about things like that. Here's one of the sideboards with our objectives. Once again, could be double sided, just saying. And then we have the base to our dice tower, the bag. I'm assuming to hold all these dice and four special dice, which I'll hold up in a second. Um, here are the top two tower parts, and those are the cubes. We got one ship, I'll show those in a second. Uh, let me build this uh, dice tower, see how long it takes. Well, it's not really a dice tower, I don't know why I would call this. this cause I guess the numbers do matter, and it does randomize them, so I guess it would be a dice tower. This tower is coming together pretty well. There is a certain way to do it. You have to take a look at the plastic to see which way the things go in. And at the top here, assuming these can go in anyway. Dice tower comes along pretty quickly, which is nice. You don't want something to take up the majority of your game. Just setting up a key factor of it. There we go. Just like that, the tower is built. And then push down hard because I want to take it apart then. But you can see how long it took to build this on the timestamps. On their side, uh, a lot of room under the cards. Not a whole lot of cards here. Open these up. I gotta say, this has a lot of space in it. That's fairly empty. Back of the cards all look, oh, I was going to say all look the same, but they are different. So we got wing condition cards, let's see those first. And just gives us different ways we have to win. Then I'm assuming the name of it, Priority Reef, Removal Challenge, Balance Response. And there's little dots in the corner, so I'm guessing that's how hard it is. One dot, two dot, three dots. So it gives you a different well, ways to win, which is nice, not all the same. And then resources, which just look like uh, little powers that you get through the game. Cancel the effect of a uh, weather dice, stuff like that. So these look to be different powers you get to use probably one time only. Uh, orange cubes, don't know if I need to do a close-up on that. But I gotta say, there is a ton of room in this box, which... It's a little concerning. I know they had to make the box so big because of the tower and whatnot. But they really could have put a lot of stuff in here to not make it look so empty. Get these boats out. Yeah, here's some of the boats. They all look slightly different. Got some small boats, medium boats. And then an oil droplet. And that's all that's left are these dice. So let's open up these dice and take a look at them. First off, we have these very tiny, uh, I would say, ocean pearl color. I have a turtle on one side, some arrows. 
Looks like a person holding a wrench. A boat. There we go, a boat. Another little droplet. Plus one AP. And back to turtle again. Now the other dice. These are just D6s. But they have a nice black and gray swirl to represent the oil, which is lovely theming. Uh, that's everything that's in this box, you know, surprisingly. Um, honestly, I think I probably can store these dice under the, the cards and no one would be the wiser. Let's see if that works. Yeah. I probably can't fit these dice under there. Eh, no, I can. Right there, I've emptied one spot. You know, I have those. You know, there's a lot of room in this box, as you can see. So I don't know if they're planning on adding anything in the future. But, I mean, there's clearly room that they could if they want to. I believe these were up here. And we have these nice fellows, the, the legs for them. Yeah. Uh, guess I can put my dice in this. Well, I will probably pull them for the game in these. But. Yeah, like I said, there. A lot of empty room in this box for things if they always wanted to add something to it. Uh, I don't know if they would. Not sure how well this did on Kickstarter. But uh, that was everything in the box for The Spill from Smirk and Dagger Games. Uh, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if this is a game you backed or have already played. Um, or is a game that looks interesting to you. Um, thank you for watching. And as always, stay sweet.